Okay, so happy Friday the 13th, everybody. John Wise here with Comageddon. And uh, today I am going to be going over and reviewing the uh, TV series Friday the 13th, the series. Now, this had absolutely nothing to do with the movies other than the title Friday the 13th. Um, the series, as uh, some of you may, may remember, uh, those just... Uh, who are new to this series. The plot is just Louis Vondrati made a deal with the devil to sell cursed antiques. But he broke the pact, and it cost him his soul. Now his niece Mickey and her cousin Ryan have inherited the store, and with it, the curse. Now they must get everything back. And the real terror begins. The episodes, the series ran for three seasons. Um, they've been brought out on DVD uh, by Paramount. Of course, Paramount owns the Friday 13th franchise, and well, as this. Uh, here we have Mickey, Ryan, and Jack. Now, there are a few things. Um, that does that they do coincide with the films. Um, for instance, you may recognize Ryan here, uh, who ended up uh, starring in uh, Jason Goes to Hell. Uh, also, uh, I believe uh, the music is done by um, uh, Henry Mancini. So, uh, so there's a few similarities there as well. I think it's a few producers who worked on the show, worked on the movies. Uh, there was also a rumor, and this has never really been confirmed, that I don't know if it was going to be the last episode, but in one of the episodes, one of the cursed items was going to be a hockey mask. And it was rumored that the hockey mask was going to be Jason's. And they would have to retrieve the hockey mask. So... Um, but yeah, these were put out on uh, DVD uh, back in 2008. Um, the first season has six discs here. Um, they each have episode guides on the inside cover. The second season here, same thing, six discs. Complete with the episode guide. Now, the third season uh, changed quite a bit. Uh, and here's how. The second season, the character of Ryan uh, left the series uh, at the end of the last episode. I won't tell you how, but he left the series. And was replaced with another character named Johnny for the third season. The third season, uh, because of cost issues to make the show, was because it wasn't popular or anything, it was cost issues, uh, was cancelled. Just cancelled. They never had a final episode to finish the series out, which was kind of a bummer. I was kind of hoping for at least uh, a, a movie, because they did they did a TV movie with the second season, um, but they didn't do a final movie or anything for the third and final season here, so. Um, and there's Johnny. So. Uh, I'll go over the features on all these here in a moment, but this one, so because the season was cut short, we didn't get as many episodes, which means... The final season here only has five discs. So now let's talk features on all these. So the first season, um, these are pretty. These were pretty pricey. These ran anywhere about I think well, close to around forty bucks. Um, so I expected this to be you know pretty packed with like uh, commentaries and promos and um, episode. Uh, uh, promos and stuff, but no. All we've got for special features on the first season is original network launch promos and a sales presentation. That's it. Uh, we no bios, no trailers, no uh, 
commentaries, nothing. So that's kind of a bummer. But uh, the original network uh, launch promos is actually cool. Um, it basically kind of goes over certain key episodes a bit. So, um, yeah. Now, if you thought the uh, lackluster of the special features on season one was bad, check this out. Season two, same price, but no special features whatsoever. None. Again, kind of a letdown. Uh, it's not the episode, nothing wrong with the episodes. Uh, they're still enjoyable to watch. But, uh, no features. Season 3, the final season. Do we get anything on this one? Yes, we do. We get episode promos. Put on select episodes. <laughs> so we don't get um, every episode. Uh, what would happen is, uh, this one pretty much syndication. So, whenever a new episode was getting ready to start, or like in between bumpers of other TV shows, they would announce, uh, on the next Friday the 13th, uh, Mickey and Ryan have to search for this object, and this happens, and can they do this? Find out on the next all-new episode of Friday the 13th, the series. So that's what those are. Um, this is the only series season to have that. Um... And it's not even all the episodes. <laughs> so it would have been nice to have them on the other seasons as well. Uh, at least. But they didn't. Also, uh, there's an iconic opening. Where um, it tells the story. At the, at the opening opening credits, it told the story of the series. The main premise of the series. Um, Louis Vendetti made a deal with the devil to sell cursed objects. But he went back on the deal. And... The devil sent him to hell. And now it's up to his niece and nephew, Mickey and James, to collect all the objects. Um, and then it would go into the main eerie uh, title screen with the, the stars and producers, directors, and such. We don't get that on any of this. Uh, the only time it shows up is in the... Uh, network launch promo on the sales presentation. That's the only time that shows up on here, which is really disappointing because it really set the mood and the tone for the show every every week. So, um, DVDs alone, um, DVD, DVDs uh, aside and special features aside, the episodes uh, are pretty much exactly how you remember them. They're pretty outdated now. They had used some really cheap CGI effects and stuff like that for uh, a lot of the episodes um, and gradually got better but um, for the most part I mean it, it hasn't aged well they're still very enjoyable to watch uh, it's kind of like the uh, Tales from the Dark Side series um, didn't age well but they're still really fun to watch and these are the same way um, Friday the 13th the series um, was a big big show uh, growing up for me because um, there weren't a whole lot of horror TV shows. Uh, I mean, there was uh, Tales from the Crypt, Tales from the Dark Side, Friday the 13th, uh, Werewolf, uh, and Monsters. Um, so those were all pretty cool. And these actually aired in the late afternoon, I believe on Saturdays, like around 2 or 3 o'clock. So that was kind of cool. Uh, I didn't have to wait till nighttime, and it was close to bedtime, like to watch it, like ta say Tales from the Crypt or Tales from the Dark Side. This came on, and I can actually eat my lunch and watch the series. So, um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, Friday, th Friday the Thirteenth, the series. Um, I still love the series. I just got done watching all of the episodes. Um, these, as far as I'm, uh, as, uh, far, as far as I'm aware, these are still available online, but they're still pricey. Uh, you're still going to pay anywhere from $30 to $50 for them. Um, but uh, I think they might have just released a complete series too. Uh, sold at Walmart. I'm not sure. I, I know they did Tales from the Dark Side and um, Tales from the Crypt. So I, I might have seen Friday the 13th. 
don't quote me on that. <laughs> Probably should have done a little research. But yeah, uh, if you can, check these out. These are these are worth at least one to watch. Um, I enjoy watching these every year around Halloween time. It just gets me in the Halloween mood. So um, check them out. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below. Let us know what you think. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.